Welcome back. The Miss Universe pageant could not be possible without the help of this man, the Minister of Commerce, Industry, and Tourism for the Island of Cyprus, Nikos Rolandis. <laughs> Just one more question to answer. It's the big one that'll give the judges one last chance to decide which woman deserves to be Miss Universe. Each will be asked the same question, so to make it fair, we will send Venezuela and India. Please step over to our special listening booth where funk music will be pumped into the ears so they cannot hear anything. Ladies, Spain, we will go this way. The last chance, 20 seconds to answer. If they want an interpreter, they have an interpreter. We must make sure they are sealed so they cannot hear what's going on over here. We are specially trained individuals. We're flown in from America. Can you hear me? There we go. Here is your final question. Right now, there's a protest going on right here in Cyprus calling the Miss Universe pageant disrespectful of women. Convince them that they're wrong. <laughs> well, I think this is a major question. I would like to, to answer it in Spanish, OK? Bueno, eh, yo creo que, que los concursos de belleza pues deberían de, de ser mm, apoyados por todo el mundo porque no solo se trata de belleza y de algo masculino, sino también de lo que sentimos nosotras las mujeres, que tenemos derecho a expresarnos, a expresar nuestra belleza y a decir lo que sentimos. Y yo creo que una mujer bella pues es muy bien escuchada por todos los demás. I think that beauty pageants should be like respected by everybody because I think that beautiful women also de uh, deserve respect and I think that we should be heard as beautiful women also. Thank you, Spain. Good as well, step on down. Same question, same amount of time, same rules. Looking good. All right, here is your final question. Right now, there's a protest going on right out here in Cyprus, calling the Miss Universe pageant disrespectful of women. Convince them that they're wrong. Hay, existe una protesta ahora en Chipre que te dice que los concursos de belleza son irrespetuosos hacia las mujeres. Convéncelos de que están equivocados. If this happened here in Cyprus, I think that I could that I could say to all these people that beauty pageants are not just beauty. Uh, they are looking for a completely women with intelligent, smart, and beauty, of course, but it's not just beauty. They are looking for a completely women, and it's, this is very nice for women. It's not bad for us. Thank you, Venezuela. <laughs> India, same question, same amount of time. That's your fan club. Here's your final question. Right now, there's a protest going on right outside here, calling the Miss Universe pageant disrespectful of women. Convince them that they're wrong. I think pageants. I think pageants like the Miss Universe pageant gives us young women a platform to foray into the fields that we want to and forge ahead, be it entrepreneurship, be it the armed forces, be it politics. It gives us a platform to voice our choices and opinions and makes us strong and independent that we are today. Thank you. Thank you, India. Once again, our three finalists. Spain! Spain. Well, she answered in Spanish. She took the initiative to do that. I do not think the interpreter gave her her due. Venezuela! The answer. Yes, it was. She wanted everyone to know that this is a complete woman, not just a That's beautiful right. woman. I think she did struggle with the English, but I do appreciate her answer. She grabbed that microphone from Sinbad. She, she pulled in the audience with look, her being. Her she presence. knows. She knows that she handled it so, so well.
When we come back, one golden apple, one crown, one woman, who will it be? Welcome back. Before we crown Miss Universe 2000, let's say goodbye to Miss Universe 1999. She was the first delegate from Botswana in the history of the pageant, and she walked away with the crown. If you met her, you'd know why. Ladies and gentlemen, in her final moments as Miss Universe, the lovely Mpule Kwalohobi. As I reflect on this past year, I realize I am blessed to have been able to experience the diversity of the world and proud to have carried a message of hope that one day the battle against HIV AIDS will be won. I dedicate my ear to the people who are researching tirelessly for that cure. Through the Mpule Kuala Hobi HIV AIDS Trust Fund and the Mpule Kuala Hobi Children's Center, the young people of Botswana will have a second chance of realizing their dreams. I thank the Botswana government and the Botswana Diamond Company for making this possible. Mom, you continue to be my hero. Your strength never fails me. I also want to thank everyone at the Miss Universe organization. Thank you for your guidance. I love you very much. Finally, to the people of my beautiful country of Botswana, I am proud to have represented you and our rich culture, right from the sands of the Kalahari Desert to the wilderness of the Chobi. Congratulations, Mpule. You've made your country and the pageant very proud. And now, the new Miss Universe and her royal court. Thanks to Mark Ward of the accounting firm of Ernst & Young, who has verified the results. We'll begin with the second runner-up. The second runner-up is Spain. <laughs> And for any reason, right here, ladies. And for any reason, the winner cannot fulfill her duties, the first runner-up will take over. Tonight's first runner-up, Venezuela! And the new Miss Universe 2000 is India! Transportation provided in part by Cypress Airways. 